my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray and seek for my faith, and turn from their wicked ways. Then I, the Lord, will forgive their sins and heal their land. Having to hear the Lord say, I will make my face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you peace. Or having to hear what the prophet Isaiah said about our Lord Jesus before his birth, that he will be the Prince of Peace. Peace is the assurance that you are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. Peace is knowing that your love will provide every single need of yours out of his riches. Peace is the presence of the Almighty God, the I am that I am, the everlasting Father who always has your back. To know God is to know peace. Those who do not know God do not know peace. Therefore, a nation whose hope is in the Lord will know peace. A nation whose faith is in the Lord will abide in peace. A nation who loves one another will show multitudes of peaceful inhabitants. A nation whose God is our Lord Almighty will live in peace and harmony. In the midst of struggles, worries and fear, in the midst of anxieties, pain and troubles, there is the Prince of Peace we can look up to. The restorer of hope, the repairer of broken homes, the architect of the universe, the everlasting peace bearer, our Lord Jesus Christ. As a child of God, my hope is in the Lord. In these hard times and at all times, He alone is my refuge, my shield, and my fortress. I have nowhere to go, even when the tables of peace turn, when the adults are running for shelter. When the brave and strong are looking for safety, when the young and energetic are seeking for hideout, when the strength of the vulnerable, the weak and the aged feel, where else can we go? Who will save us? Only the Prince of Peace can save us. As surely as the Lord lives, I won't be shaken, I won't be troubled. As long as I have kept an eye on him alone, he will keep his promise. He has promised peace to those who make Jesus their Lord and personal Savior. You know what? True peace can only be found in Jesus Christ. True peace can be found in stronger relationship with God, drawing more closer to Him, seeking His faith and heeding to His word. Or have you forgotten what Jesus said in John 16, 33, that I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. In this world you may be troubled, but take heart, I have overcome. The Church of God, children of Christ, take heart, take heart. Jesus has overcome all your troubles. Nothing can stop you, absolutely nothing can stop you. Because you have the full confidence in Him and you have put your all in Him. He will never leave or forsake you. That is why He has testified this way in Psalm 29, verse 11, that the Lord gives His people strength. The Lord blesses them with peace. We know we are blessed and our Lord Jesus will take us through it all. All the tribulations and obstacles, He will be our God. Throughout all the dark moments, he will be our source of light. We must first of all have peace in our hearts. As Christ tells us in Colossians 3.15 that let the peace of God rule in your heart. As members of one body, you are called to peace and be thankful. You have to allow the reality of the victory of Jesus Christ over death. Hell and the devil, rule your thoughts. Govern what you say, govern what's in your heart, govern your actions. As Romans chapter 8 verse 6 says, that the mind governed by the flesh is death, and the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. Wow! If the peace of God governs your heart, your finances improves, your marital life is blessed, you encounter multiple open doors, your breakthroughs become enormous, promotions abound at work, Scholarships are written all over your academics. Whatever you touch becomes a blessing. Wherever you step is given unto you. 
Whenever you speak, you speak fire. You speak favor unto men. You speak life. And above all, you carry the power of God. Now let me ask you, why haven't you for once thought of replacing your worries with faith? Faith kills with prayer. Your worries can't solve your problem. Your worries can't add up any single hair to your head. Do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. You will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. Even as we have set our spiritual act on the path the Lord has set before us, we have fixed our thoughts on His will. Therefore, we shall manifest and meet the presence and power of our Almighty God. But remember, God's will for you is to live in peace, not to be anxious. Become one with Jesus and you will see the Holy Spirit that will produce the peace in your life. Because you are in Christ and focus on his path and the leading of the Holy Spirit balanced by the scripture. You will produce an atmosphere of peace wherever you go. Everyone can have peace only if you accept Jesus and keep your mind and heart set on him. If you declare that Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart that the Lord raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If you profess Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior and believe in your heart that the Lord raised him from the dead, then salvation has come indeed. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. In the midst of calamities, peace will come. In the midst of chaos, right there, just right there, peace will come. When all hopes are lost, peace will come. Peace will rule as an empire in your life because you are at peace in Christ Jesus and the Holy Spirit has made your heart his dwelling place. Today, I am leaving you with a gift, the peace of God. This peace is a gift the world cannot give. It's so precious. It's so priceless. So do not be troubled or afraid. And this gift can only be found in Jesus Christ. Amen.